guys, um, right, today I'm going to do with you my July favourites. Um, I've got some um, mainly beauty things but um, a couple of extras on the end so I hope you enjoy. My first um, favourites are a couple of face products, um, both been mentioned in previous videos of mine. Um, I've got the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, I can't um, recommend this enough. I spray it on um, before any of my makeup, um, including before my primer um, and then I spray it on once my makeup is done and that just really seems to lock it in place it doesn't shift or budge all day especially in this hot weather um, I will definitely be repurchasing this because um, it's about to run out and I think I'm going to just have to get a big bottle because it's amazing and the next thing I've got is my um, Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum um, Gel Foundation I love this stuff, it smells amazing, it smells like holiday, um, it's such a nice um, coverage and texture, I love it, um, I just really enjoy putting it on my face in the morning and I'm, I just can't believe that I didn't try this before, I can't believe I never discovered it before, um, so yeah I love this, love this a lot. My, my next favourite um, is a couple of nail polishes, um, these are from Models Own, they're from the Neon collection. Um, this one is Pink Punch and this one is Bubblegum. Bubblegum is a sort of tr very true neon pink and Pink Punch is still pinky but it's more corally pink. Um, I'm actually, I don't know if you can see that, I hope you can. I'm actually wearing it on my nails right now. Um, I'm really into neon at the moment, I've been like hunting down like neon tops and um, other neon polishes as well. Um, so I think it's just sort of summer has just sort of set me on like the neon trail. So um, yeah, I've just actually bought a load of neon nail polishes. So um, they'll be coming to a haul right here sometime soon. So um, yes, really been enjoying them. Um, these are five pounds, by the way, and you can get them in most boot stores. And Model Zone are amazing formulas as well. My next favourite is um, this um, hot cloth cleanser from Superdrug. It's the um, it's the vitamin E one. Um, I kind of stopped using this for a while because, I don't know, due to a few sort of hormonal changes, I had very, very oily skin suddenly for a period of about six months. So um, this actually says on the bottle for normal to dry skin, so I stopped using this because I didn't feel it was helping. Luckily now, all that's dried up, although I'm still getting spots across my chin, I'm nowhere as oily as I was before. My skin's actually a little bit dry now, so... Um, I've started using this again and I've been loving it. It's such a lovely way um, to take your makeup off. Um, this does come with a muslin cloth, but I actually use the Emma Hardy face cloths because I think that they're amazing and would recommend them as well. Um, but yeah, really been loving this and it's much cheaper than like the Lizelle one. This is only $5.99 from Superdrug. So um, yes, would really recommend that. And sort of in the same vein of sort of skincare, um, but a little bit weird. Seed cream. Um, I'd heard that this is good for treating your acne or spots and things like that. Um, and I thought for it's like two pounds something, so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, it's just sort of like a very thick, it's very thick kind of like greasy actually, which is a bit a bit weird when you first start putting it on. It doesn't like go in very easily. To me it smells like babies and um, it's, um, I've just been sort of dabbing this on my spots um, last thing at night and I do think it really helps to heal them quicker and um, as I said I was a bit sort of ooh when I first started putting it on because it does feel quite greasy and heavy um, and I know that some people may find that it breaks them out and doesn't actually help but for me it seems to have helped and I think it helps with like scars and things as well so um, yeah if you're really suffering maybe give this a go and see if it helps. My next favourite, um, a little bit of a boring one, but it's this shower gel. This is Sanix Dermosensitive Lacto Serum. Um, it's for sensitive skin shower cream. Um, I have, for some reason, I can experiment a bit more on my face, um, but not so much with my body. It seems to be very sensitive things. So I've been using just sort of this really plain, boring shower gel that has got no fragrance, no soap, no nothing in it. And I just wanted to branch out a bit. I just wanted to branch out a bit and get something that was maybe more moisturising. So I did a bit of research and found this and I love it. It's, I mean, it's not like, it smells like flowers or anything, but it smells 
um, of actually something and um, it is more moisturising on my skin I could feel that difference straight away and as well which I love it makes a really good like um, bubble bath and because like I've been so allergic to things before I've had to be having baths like all my life basically with no bubbles in them so I put this in my bath and was amazed that I could just lie there in bubbles and have sort of all lovely silky feeling skin afterwards so if you've got something to do skin like me um, give this a go because it is really good my final kind of beauty related favourite is a bit of a cheat because you technically I suppose can't buy it um, but this is my very own custom palette um, I basically had some palettes floating around um, it was two Urban Decays and a Benefit one um, and they were just really bulky or broken one of them was and I just wasn't using them because I was you know either couldn't travel with them or was putting them sort of in drawers and places like that because they're so bulky um, and I had for ages wanted to kind of depot them and put them all into one big palette um, and I've done sort of a bit of research on it and the only thing I had to find really was the Z palettes but they're like cardboard and like £20 or something ridiculous and I didn't even know if mine um, would be magnetic um, and I wasn't that bothered about having been able to like take them out and replace them with something else or anything I just wanted everything together in one palette so I just ordered this palette um, off eBay I got it from a um, Chinese seller um, it was less than £2 I'll link it below um, so you can have a look at it if it's something that you're interested in um, it did come like when it came um, the inside has got like little metal sort of pans um, with like foam separating them all um, and I could see that on the picture but I thought I'll just try and take it out when it gets here because it's less than two pound if it doesn't work it doesn't matter and luckily as I said it was just foam so I literally just peeled it out all the pans came out and I was just left with a nice empty palette and I then depotted all of my eyeshadows um, and I just super glued them in with a bit of no more nails that we had in the cupboard um, so as I said if you're not bothered about them being able to take them out again then I think it's a really good solution it was really cheap um, I also just knocked up like a little like chart of um, what um, shades they are so I don't forget and um, I'll just tell you where what palettes these came from and um, these sort of big square eyeshadows um, these were from a palette which was the Ooh. Urban Decay Loves New York palette which I got in duty free about sort of three years ago um, but they're lovely shades um, the smaller rectangular sh shades are from um, the Urban Decay and my palette that was the one that actually broke um, the, like the cardboard framing came away from it and I couldn't shut it properly and um, I see some benefit ones I only have three from that it was like one of their gift boxy type ones that came with like high beam and other things um, but that just had left in it these two eyeshadows, um, Dandy Brownie Leggy and Hula, which didn't survive depotting very well, but it's in there nonetheless. And um, that's the bronzer from Benefit. Um, yeah, and that again, that was bulky, and I just thought it was a shame to sort of lose them eyeshadows, so I took them out. And I just love it. I love having everything in one place. I kind of did it in colour order as well, so I think it makes it look a lot better. And. I just found myself rooting for it over like other palettes because I've got so much choice in there of all these different colours that I can use and um, it's, this feels proper sturdy as well, I feel like I've quite happily travelled with it and things like that so I would recommend doing that if you've got some palettes hanging about that you don't really use. My next favourite, um, I was going to try and do a fashion favourite and this is clothes but it's not really fashion I guess but um, these are pyjamas. Um, these are from Primark and um, they're their short pyjama set. Um, I've just I've got more than one in sort of different styles, but I'm showing you this one. This one, the bottoms are like a cute um, neon leopard print colour with like neon pink trim, and then the top is a lovely bright pink colour and says let's get wild <laughs> on it in um, glittery gold writing. I've just like really been appreciating them in this hot weather. Um, and even just like, I don't even mean for sleeping, like sometimes I just come home and I just want to wear one of these because they're so like loose and light and comfy and but yeah I still feel quite cool when I go to bed because they're 
so cutely patterned. And they're only £5 for a set, so if you're looking for some like summer pyjamas, I'd recommend checking these out. Final favourite is something I can't quite show you, but I'm going to try and put a picture that I have taken before, sort of, in this video so you can see them. Um, it's actually a food favourite, and it's from a recipe that I got from a blog called The Londoner, which is written by Rosie, and um, it's for this like healthy um, ice cream made from bananas. Basically, all you do is you take a banana, slice it up, um, and then pop it in the freezer. Once the banana's frozen, <laughs> you then take it out, put it in a food processor, and blend it all up, and then you can add whatever you like to it. Um, I've tried Nutella, peanut butter, golden syrup, caramel sauce, like um, cocoa powder, hot chocolate powder, just to make it yummy basically. And you can either, once you've done that and it's all blended into like a nice sort of liquidy type thing, you can either put it back in the freezer if you want it more ice creamy or you can do what I do which is just like eat it straight away. Um, and it is super yummy. It's like when I have it, it's kind of like frozen yogurt but it just tastes so nice and it's so much healthier than just eating on ice cream and as well I find it like when I hope if you gave me a tub of ice cream I could probably just sit there and eat and eat and eat but with that you don't because it's I think because it's made out of bananas and they've got potassium in them and they fill you up really quickly so I recommend that I'll put a link to um Rosie's recipe post down below um and hopefully you can put a picture in of my finished ice cream it's super yummy I'd recommend you try it so that's my um, July favourites everybody, um, please if you like this video give it a thumbs up and um, or leave a comment if you've got anything else that you want to say and um, also if you want to see more videos from me please do subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching, bye! See you